Get ready to match the stars. Fred Garrett. From Night Court, Marcia Warfield. Charles Nelson Riley. From Head of the Class, Christine Ha. From Coach Jerry Van Dyke. And Terry Copley. As we play the all new star studded Match Game. And here's the star of Match Game, Bert Tundy. Hey, Bert. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome to Match Game. And welcome to you, too. Okay. It's nice to have you with us, and the panel, it's uh, wonderful to see you all dressed up looking so yeah. lovely. You all really nice look very suit. nice. And As do you. Uh, thank you, Marsha. Yeah, thank you. Uh, nice. How you doing, Brad? Everything wonderful. okay? Yourself? Uh, but couldn't be better. Good. Uh, you look, gosh, you look tall even sitting there. Well, you, you're about 6'7 now, aren't you? 6'9". Six, 6'9"? Nine. Six, nine? A lot of pressure on a white man. <laughs> You've grown since the last time I saw you. I can't I'm believe still that. Growing. That's my line. Is that your line? <laughs> 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 okay, well, listen, I'm not going to touch that. Oh, what a pretty bow. If you guys are already... Uh, mercy, I didn't touch. I just said, what a pretty bow. Let's meet the contestants. Shall we do that? Here we go. First of all, let's say hello to Michelle Coffin and to Harley Zumbrum. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Harley. Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Match Game. Uh, Nice to have you both with us. Uh, good luck to you. And we want to find out something about you. So we'll start off with you, Harley. Tell us a little something about yourself, sir. Well, I'm Harley <coughs> Zumbrum, a musician <laughs> from Nebraska. And now I'm uh, living out here, working as a tour guide at a movie studio. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it that I, f I feel like Daffy Duck now when I talk? <laughs> Welcome to, welcome to Match Game. Say something, Harley. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Well, good luck to you, Harley. Thank, Thank you for you. being with us, Michelle. Tell us about yourself, too. Hi, my name is Michelle Coffin, and I do office work for Headhunters in downtown Los Angeles. Good, good job. Well, okay, good luck on Match Game. Here's how we play it. As you know, the goal of our contestants is to match as many of our loony bins over here as possible. <laughs> and the one who scores the most at the end of the game is our winner. That person will go on and play our super match and have a shot at $10,000. Okay, here we go. Harley, it's going to be your turn, Harley. We'd like you to choose either A or B, sir. A. 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 When he says A, he means A. <laughs> okay, ready to go. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is so rich. Uh -oh. How rich is he? Mercy. Not only does he have a phone in his limo, he has a blank in it. <laughs> okay. You're a little unruly, you know that? Donald Trump is so rich, not only does he have a phone in his limo, he has a blank in it. Okay. It works. We're all in. No, we're not. Charles, come on. You're holding up the parade here. Okay. There he is, Harley. Here we go. Donald Trump is so rich, not only does he have a phone in his limo, he has a pool. A pool. Yes. <laughs> They're turning on you, Harley. I, per I personally thought it was a, a very good answer. Because I'm up here next to him and he's big. <laughs> okay, Brad, what do you got, sir? Well, my name is Harley Zumbro. <laughs> <laughs> and I want A. <laughs> a Why is that, Harley? Because my voice drops everywhere. <laughs> What is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is so rich, he has a phone in his limo. He has a... A toilet. A toilet in his limo. Thank you, sir. 
Now that's rich. We're talking rich here, Marsha. Hmm. Yes. Oh, I was Trump just is, uh, not only does he have baby. a phone, he has a. Oh boy, this guy is real rich. Yeah, real rich. Wow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One little guy. He not only has a phone, the man has a switchboard. Oh. <laughs> Good, Ed. That's hey, 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 hey. Very good. That we was, don't do that here. That was very nice. <laughs> Charles, sir. My name is Harvey Zumblum. <laughs> I said the same thing as the second Zumblum, Toilet John, Lou, or Outhouse. Yes, Outhouse, Toilet John, that's the way it seems to be going. Well, that's... Donald Trump is, Trump is so rich, not only does he have a phone in his limo, he has a... Well, I say what Harley wants, Harley gets... It's a pool. He has a pool. There's a match. Yeah. Very good, huh? <laughs> All right, Terry. I was, we're looking for I a was pool. good. Harley, all I want to do is hear you say your full name. I want to hear Zumbum. you say your name. Tell me, tell me your full name. Harley Zumbrum. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't like sound that. right coming out of him. No. Zumbrum. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, Zumbrum, but I got a television. You I got was, a TV. I was trying to no match. Mess there, thank you. I know, but I was trying to match. Yeah, I thought that's what has. they appreciate that. Terry, we're looking for a pool. What have you got? I don't want any booze. A fax machine. A fax machine. <laughs> we have one match. One match, Harley. Okay, Michelle, here comes your question. You're ready to go, gang. <laughs> Sally, the secretary, said, when that guy at the computer store told me my, my new computer was user-friendly, he wasn't kidding. After I turned it on, it tried to blank me. <laughs> Sally, the secretary, said when that guy at the computer store told me my new computer was user-friendly, well, he wasn't kidding. After I turned it on, it tried to blank me. I got, got mine. <laughs> Harvey Zumbra. <laughs> Terry and Brad, all we want. Oh, Terry's in. Brad, come on. Okay. He's almost in there. Yeah. Who's that? I think Brad, he's ready, ready now. He's Brad. ready now. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Sally, this, is, this is a terrible Sally, answer. Sally, the secretary, said, when that guy at the computer store told me my new computer was user-friendly, he wasn't kidding. After I turned it on, it tried to blank me. It tried to kiss me. Oh, it tried to kiss me. Is probably a good answer. What happened at that computer store, okay, sir? Well, listen, since Charles Nelson Island and I always th think alike. <laughs> All right, this is what I did. I made a mistake and I want to redo my answer. You can't I don't do that. chalk that low. We have to take that <laughs> answer, sir. I don't say better. <laughs> What's the I answer? I'm Harley Zumbrum. <laughs> well, see, I was trying to think of a nice way of love fang. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> we're, 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 look, we're looking for pool. What do you got, sir? I'm looking, I'm looking, to try to kind of jump. Jump. Thank jump. you very much. <laughs> we're not looking for pool. We're trying to kiss me. <laughs> kiss is what we want. Now, we'll not do it. Marsha, thank you. Huh? Marsha, we're looking I'm for kiss. I'm trying to draw a picture. Very nice. <laughs> of a uh, Harley Zumbrum. Zumbrum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My computer. Yeah. It's user friendly. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it tried to grope me. Tried to grope me. Okay, <laughs> that's a user friendly computer. No match there, Charles. Make love to. Okay. Oh! To oh! Go for Michelle the went uh, the classy road, which certainly won't happen up there. That's more of a <laughs> rocky road up there. Okay, we've got a computer here. He wasn't kidding. After yeah, I turned it on, it tried to. Mm -hmm. Well, I think everybody's computer up there was a little too friendly. They just wanted to smooch. Oh, kiss. Yeah, that'll do it. There's a match. We have a tie. So, we're looking for kiss, Jerry. Ba 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 da ba. Kiss. Yes. All right. Another match. Terry, it's up to you. <laughs> oh well, seduce me. Seduce me. <laughs> but, uh, no match there. Okay. We're Score. Michelle has two and Harley has one. <laughs> we'll come back in a moment with more of Next Game. Okay, here we are. Michelle has two and Harley has one. 
Uh, Michelle, you're in the lead, so we're going to start round two with you. If you'll make your selection here, either A or B, please. I'll take A. You'll take A. 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 Here we go. A. 50 years from now, 100-year-old Mick Jagger said, the boys in my band, the Rolling Stones, are getting a little old. That's why I'm changing the name to the Blanking Stones. <laughs> 50 years from now, 100-year-old Mick Jagger said, the boys in my band, the Rolling Stones, are getting a little old. That's why I'm changing the name to the Blanking Stones. Okay. Good question. Oh, who's writing these? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> I got an answer. Terry's first. Terry's first. <laughs> Terry's got one too. <laughs> I am not responsible for this answer. Oh, that was a great one. I just heard someone say. <laughs> You're not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everybody. Brad? Okay, Brad's in. Christine, we need your answer. Oh, I can't decide. Well, pick one. Okay. She's got it. Michelle. 50 years from now, 100-year-old Mick Jagger said, the boys in my band, the Rolling Stones, are getting old. That's why I'm changing the name to the... Creaking. The Creaking yeah. Stones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not an extremely popular choice, it seems. We'll find out. Brad? Well, I'm in serious trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, dokie. <laughs> well, I thought it would be... The Crawling Stones. Uh, creepy Crawlies? Creepy. No, we're not going to give it to you. Okay. Here we go, Marsha. <laughs> well, they are not the moss gathering stones. They are the crawling stones. Crawling Stones. Oh, gosh. That's Mick that Jagger right mean. there. That's you see Mick yes, I can see that is Mick Jagger. I've never had Charles. children. I have to agree with the stunning people that I share this floor with. It is crawling. All right, the second floor likes crawling. <laughs> Getting well, old, Mick Jagger in the band. Swan. That's why he's changing the name to the... Well, I didn't spell it right. This one doesn't count. I was going to say the Gallstones. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's terrible. I said the Sinking Stones. The Sinking Stones. Okay. No match on either one, Jerry. I don't know whether I spelled it right, but I have... Is that right? The Gallstones. Gall yes, I believe that is. That is that right? I think so, but it's not correct. It's not a match. Well, we need, no, we need creaking right. for a match here, Terry. I don't. I put decaying The stone. decaying stones. <laughs> The dead okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I thought either gallstones or kidney that. stones would have been nice. Okay. Harley, you ready? Uh, let me see. Say, did you hear about Hugh Hefner's wedding? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, no. It, it was wild. It was absolutely wild. Hef wore a tuxedo, but his bride wore blank. <laughs> hear about Hugh Hefner's wedding? It was wild. Hef wore a tuxedo, but his bride wore blank. Got the dead wrapping up mail. All right, now think. Think, think Harley. Everybody's in. Okay, Harley, here you go. Did you hear about Hugh Hefner's wedding? It was wild. Hef wore a tuxedo, but his bride wore... Bunny ears? <laughs> Bunny ears? Oh. That is why his bride wore Bunny ears? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, Harley. <laughs> Harley. Either you and I should just get a small apartment somewhere. <laughs> Above the Amish family. <laughs> I said, buddy. All right. <laughs> we have a time. All right, Marcia, what do you got? You know, I don't have the match, but I was there. And I know what the woman was wearing. Uh huh. Hef did have on a tuxedo. Yes. And his wife wore a staple. A staple. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that much, eh? Charles. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. She wore nothing. 
Okay, we have a tie. We are looking for bunny ears. Uh, Christine? Nothing but bunny ears. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> but bunny ears, no? huh? We don't fool for you. No, you're not going to get us with that one, Jerry. Well, I've seen him together, and I think she wore diapers. <laughs> We have a tie. Terry, you can break the tie right I about this can. point. I can. I just said a bow tie. A bow tie. We have a tie. That's the way we stand at the end of round two. We have a 2-2 two -two tie, and we'll be back with round three and a big chance of the big money coming up. Don't go away. More match game. Okay. Here we go. Time now for our third and final round. In this round, each match will be worth double. Each match will be worth double or two points which means anybody can still win. Obviously, we have a tie. So now we're going to alternate. So this time, Harley, you're going to go first. Please select A or B, sir. B. 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 OK. B. B. At the cannibal Halloween party, instead of bobbing for apples, they bob for blank. Ooh. <laughs> Halloween. At the <laughs> cannibal <laughs> Halloween party, instead well, of Bob well. for apples, <laughs> and then Bob for blank. The cannibal <laughs> Halloween party. Don't give it away, guys. That's a terrible. You got it. You can't count. I did my oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you. <laughs> I'm, well, I misspelled it. That's why I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I hope I'm not doing so bad. Well, Charles. I wrote that mail too. Charles and Christine waiting for you. I don't like this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Harley? Uh, At the cannibal Halloween party, instead of bobbing for apples, they bob for. Skulls. Skulls? <laughs> Boy, is it, is it menacing when he says that, isn't it? Skulls. Okay, skulls. Is this a Halloween party, Bert? Yes, it is. It's a Halloween party. Well, can party. I do my Herman Munster impression? You bet. <laughs> now, Grandpa. <laughs> okay. I think the answer, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? We're looking for skulls. Missionaries. No, that's not what they're bobbing for. Also, we're looking for skulls. This is important. Two points here. I don't, I don't have skulls. I'll never win the home game. I don't have skulls. <laughs> Built like I am. I don't believe it. I figured oh, no. they would bob for it. boobs. <laughs> oh! Bob for boobs. It'll be they a new weren't show. that hungry. They were bobbing all day, so they just wanted fingers. They bobbed for <laughs> fingers? <laughs> okay. Thank you. The cannibal Halloween party, instead oh. of bobbing for apples, they bobbed for. <laughs> oh, Harley no, I don't said it. heads, which is skulls. Heads? Yes, they gave it to you. Okay, oh. Terry. She doesn't want to show hers. Does and she, she really should show have mine, to. So I don't think she should show it. I matched him. Missionaries. Missionaries. Yeah, yeah. Missionaries. What do you got? I don't you don't, like want to know, you don't want to know, Bert. It's not a match. Trust us. It's not a match. We have to show it. It's part of the game. <laughs> Hey, Terry. Terry. This one, no. Terry, Terry, wait a minute. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have this framed in the match game Hall of Fame. Oh, wait, Terry. <laughs> Terry, I, uh, I'm having a Halloween party Never on the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Whoa. 
Oh, to go. Monologue. Thank you, Terry, for sharing that with us. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, at least she's honest. I can, yeah, at least she's honest, and I can't wait to go to her party. Eddie, yeah. And here's where we are. Eddie Gourmet, the restaurant critic, said, I just ate at a restaurant where the portions were so small. How small were they? <laughs> Instead of silverware, there was a blank next to every plate. Oh. <laughs> The restaurant critic said, I just ate at a restaurant where the portions were so small, instead of silverware, there was a blank next to every plate. Hey, blank. Portions. Hey. Oh. oh. <laughs> there was a what? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, good answer. Oh, God, I don't know. The portions were small. The portions were so small, instead of silverware, there was a blank next to every plate. That was really an illusion. Come on, Marcia. I don't have one, okay? Well, make it up. Okay, so don't blame me. I'm with Marcia. It's Four not funny, balls. and I don't have an answer, okay? And it's not balls. Okay. <laughs> All right, Michelle, here you go. Eddie Gourmet, the restaurant critic, said, I just ate at a restaurant where the portions were so small, instead of silverware, there was a blank next to every plate. There was a toothpick. Okay. <laughs> a toothpick. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is what we need. We need one match to win, up uh, to tie, and two to win. One match to tie and two matches to win, since they're, they're worth two points. Brad? How many of you believe in magic? All right, now. <laughs> now, 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 now. A toothpick. A toothpick. There's the tie. One more. We'll give you the win. Instead of silverware, there was a... Well, if there was little portions, you wouldn't need a <laughs> toothpick, right? <laughs> what would you need? Well, there wouldn't be anything there. There would just be a napkin. A napkin. That would, yeah, thank you. Okay, you really didn't have anything, did you, Charles? I told you. But Here we go. We need toothpick. A magnifying glass. Oh, that's a good answer, too. The portions were so small, instead of silverware, there was a... Toothpick. That's baby. it. <laughs> Michelle, come over here with me. Harley, we have to say goodbye to you, Harley. Thanks for being with us. We'll have some prizes for you backstage. Thanks so much. Come over here, Michelle. We'll be right back with our Big Money Super Match right after this message for you. Dog away. Here comes the big one. Okay. Isn't she <laughs> all right? Uh, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's madness when you're gone, I can tell you that. It's madness when you're here. It's time now for the big money super match where you can win over $10,000. Okay? Now, to start that, to start that, uh, you're going to start off with an audience match. Now, recently we polled a studio audience and got their very best response to this. <coughs> Blank rice. Okay, now, if you uh, guess the most popular guess, it'll be worth $500 to you. If you guess the second most popular guess, it'll be worth $250. And the third will be oh, worth $100. So turn over here and pick out three of our celebs to aid and assist you. Who's it going to be? Charles. Charles? Mm, minute. Minute rice. Good, good. Okay, Ms. Rice. Brad. Brad. My favorite actress, Donna Rice. <laughs> Donna Rice, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh, Jesus. Sorry. Christine. White rice. White rice. Very yes. Minute rice. What's the other one? Oh, and Donna, what Donna what Rice. Okay, oh, now you've got your three choices there. You might have one of your own. What do you think? Minute oh, rice. rice. Minute rice. I think that's a good one. I think you're right. Okay, here we go. The $100 answer is. Donna, Donna Rice. Rice. Look at that. Brad was not so bad. $250 answer is. Minute oh, Rice. Okay, you got the 250. It. That's okay. good. You got one. That what was. Is that? Uh, that was yeah. Charles. All right. And let's see who, what was behind the $500 one. Ah, oh, ah, we didn't ah, even ah, have. Ah, boo, boo, 
you, yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, now you won two hundred and fifty dollars, which means the least you'd be playing for is ten times that amount, or two thousand five hundred dollars, by matching one of our celebrities head to head. But you could be playing for double that amount if you get lucky with our star wheel. You need a lucky spin for that, and let's bring the star wheel in and see how you do. Here it comes. You come over there on the second level, Michelle. Okay. You're going to spin this, and wherever this pointer lands on, whomever it lands on, that will be your partner to head to head, okay? okay? Now, if it lands on one of these little red dots, then it's going to be worth double. In this case, for you, it would be worth $5,000. Good luck. Give it a real good, healthy spin. Come on, Michelle. Buy a vowel. We'd like an E. And go. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be Brad. It's gonna be Brad for double. You got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Nice going. It landed on Brad, and you're gonna be playing Can I for confer with Terry during this? That? Can I confer with Terry You don't have to confer with Terry about anything at this moment. You're gonna be playing for $5,000. Uh, to win the money, you must match Brad absolutely exactly head-to-head -head because this is for the big money. All right, Michelle. We don't want anybody out there to call out anything now. If you're all ready, here it comes. Get ready to write, Brad. Okay. We're looking for Roger Blank. Right. Roger Blank. What's your response, Michelle? Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Okay, Brad. It's up to you, Brad, for five, five thousand dollars, sir. What's your response? Rabbit. That's it. Okay, we'll be back. More match game coming up. Don't go away. Congratulations, Michelle. Okay, we are back. Congratulations to Michelle. You have won $5,250, but that's not the only good news we have. You're our champion. You can come back tomorrow and try again for $10,000 more. We'll look for you then. We'll look for you, too, right here on Match Game. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.